Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, I picked up a new blade that I wanted to kind of do a first impressions video on first slash initial impressions and also I wanted to ask a question about this knife uh, to anyone that has some other lockback knives um, if you have a Cali 3 or a Cali 3.5 that would be great if you can chime in but um, anyways I picked this knife up and this is actually the second um, time I've ordered this knife it's actually the second one um, I ordered one and noticed some issues with it immediately when I took it out of the box. So what I did is I returned it and I exchanged it for another one thinking, well, maybe the, the issue was just kind of a, a luck of the draw kind of thing. And uh, if I get a new one, it probably won't have that issue. But um, un unfortunately, I think I've been wrong about that. But in any case, this is the second one. And this is a Spyderco Cali 3.5. Um, the issue that I first had was that when I first took it out, I noticed that the the blade was really kind of gritty in the pivot. It was hard to open. Um, I didn't realize this initially when I ordered it because I didn't know, but this does not have any bushings in it. It doesn't have any washers. There's no copper washers in there. It's just steel on steel um, at the pivot. So that's not an issue. Um, once it breaks in, it deploys pretty smoothly. And if you can clean the area, even you really not don't need to oil it, but... If you clean it with oil and then wipe the oil off, it really uh, deploys really smooth now. But um, that was the so that was my first my first issue with it. My second issue was that it actually has vertical blade play. It has up down blade play. Um, this one does as well. It's not an astronomical amount, but just barely rocking it like that, it has blade play um, up down side to side. There's no play at all. Um, so it's not because the pivot isn't tight. The pivot is perfectly tight enough. Um, it's at the perfect, uh, kind of the, that perfect sweet spot of tightness where the blade will drop if you disengage the lock. And when it's locked up, there's no side-to-side -side blade play. But unfortunately, there is some up-down blade play. Now, does that affect how it locks? Not really, but um, it's just one of those things that um, when you buy a more expensive knife, or expensive to me, because this knife is around $100 street price, a little bit over, uh, around the same price as a paramilitary 2 in many cases, um, you know, you just expect it to lock up tight. And, and here's the thing. I realize it's a back lock, it's a lock back, and any, any knife, um, well, I may be going out on a limb by saying this, but if you look at most folding knife locks, a lock back or a back lock will tend to have the most blade play or it'll be more susceptible to just a slight amount of play based on how the, that lock is designed. Um, this little, the back lock kind of engages in with the bottom portion of the blade. There's a cutout right there. Right as it closes, it holds it. So as the blade's pushing down, it's pushing, um, it's creating force upwards and back. And by that little, the back lock you know, holding onto the blade right there, it stops it from moving. But just by the design, generally there will be um, more blade play or or more of a chance of up down blade play. But anyways, what I was trying to say is that my K bar Dozier has less blade play than the um, Cali 3.5, and I really don't know why that is. You know, like I'm not even pressing that hard, but it, the the blades clearly move in front, back, front, back. I can hear and feel the rock. So it's not solid. And that's not the only issue. My other issue is that if you look at the stainless steel backspacer, you see how it isn't that a cool looking design? Yeah, it's pretty cool, but except for the fact that you look at that right there, that back lock is not level with that backspacer. When I run my fingernail across it, it's really catching. I mean, it's almost like a millimeter higher than the that stainless steel. It's not flush. I mean, you hear that? When I run my finger across that, when the blade's open, and I'll be right back. The phone's ringing. And we're back. Sorry about that. But as I was saying is that, um, like I said, the, the back lock, it's not level with the backspacer. And that, that's kind of an issue for me. Um, it is a really aesthetically pleasing and great looking design, but 
when the blades open that really shouldn't happen to where that back lock I mean there's a considerable amount where the back lock blah, 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 the back lock rises above the back spacer here and I think you can even see that on video now when it's closed that's not as bad because it, it's just it's level see it's closed it's pretty level I mean there's still a little bit amount a little bit of an amount of uh, it catches on my fingernails still but when it's open you know you can see that it's it's pretty clear and I I don't think it should be like that maybe I'm wrong but um, I don't know let me know what you guys think um, this is kind of a like I said a more expensive knife for me at least it's kind of in the price range of a paramilitary too and I really do like this knife I really like the design and the lightweightness and just the uh, the way you get such a long blade for a small handle I mean it really it really does give you a lot of cutting length for such a compact EDC type knife but these things it's kind of like it's just one of those things um, and a lot of people recommend oh well make sure you send it to Spyderco let them remedy the issue you know before you you talk about these things on video or in the forums and I I completely disagree with that because everyone always says remedy the issue well here's the thing like I said this is the second knife that I got you know I got, got one had similar issues returned it exchanged it bought another one and uh, this one has the same issues and the reason why I did that is because I really want to like this knife I like carrying this knife I don't want to send it off to Spyderco and be without it be without the money that I paid for it for the time for them to investigate it and figure out what they're gonna do to fix it and then send it back to me when I'm out my shipping costs and whatever else it costs me to send it into them and that doesn't remedy the issue short term I'm without the hundred dollars I spent on this knife and without the knife for however many weeks so that's the thing um, and I'm all for letting the company make right heck if this is how this knife is supposed to be maybe you guys tell me and uh, you know maybe there's just no problem at all maybe I'm just I'm, I'm a little crazy about it as far as uh, how it should be and how it should lock up but I don't know it's just me even a back lock I, I would hope that it would lock up a little bit tighter but I could be wrong um, but anyways I want to hear you guys' opinions on this anybody that has some back lock knives let me know what you think as far as this one and uh, if you think that's normal or if you guys even better if you guys have any Cali 3's or Cali 3.5's let me know um, if they have blade play and uh, if you had any similar experiences um, you know down the road I think I'm gonna keep this one but down the road I might have to send it off to Spyderco and see if um, they can take a look especially for just the, the fact that the uh, the back lock is not flush with the backspacer when the blades deployed that just that's the thing that bothers me the most you know that's there's a large sharp bump right there and it's not aesthetically pleasing um, it's sharp it could possibly dig into your hand but mainly it's just like it just seems like a poor design to me um, the way that one's put together I mean my K-Bar Dozier again $15 knife been abused like nothing else but uh, locks up tighter than the Cali 3.5 and that back lock is flush with the liners when it's open I'm just saying not sure why that is but uh anyways thanks for watching you guys hope you got something out of this here's a quick size comparison as I sign off here Cali 3.5 really like the size of it really like the compactness the weight for an EDC blade but uh just something to think about Hopefully I can get the issue remedied. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.